guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Lessons for Millmans. So today, um, you're going to notice there is something new over here, and it is the Day of the Dead. The challenge has begun, and we still have 20 or 30 days and 21 hours left, which I'm pretty excited about. I forgot this was even going yesterday, and I'm kind of like kicking myself now because I had to yesterday and today off, and I could have totally been working on this the whole time, but it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start. Now, it's been a really long time, as you guys know, since I've played these LPs. So if I have forgotten something or whatever we were working on, I do apologize. But Cheryl here is pregnant, so we are waiting for the addition to the family, which I'm pretty excited about. And she's just talking with Liberty, I guess. Um, so to start this challenge, it says, The Day of the Dead challenge ends in 30 days and 21 hours. This household has collected zero of nine sugar skulls. To participate in the challenge, use your sim's cell phone, select the social tab, and then call Jasmine Holiday. When Jasmine arrives, speak with her to learn about the Day of the Dead festivities and that are taking place. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to... We're going to call Jasmine Holiday over. I would really like to know kind of what's going down with the whole thing. So we're going to we're gonna look into it and see what we can do. Right. She said she'll be right over. Awesome. We are getting really tired. I don't know why, but we are. I think that's uh, Nancy Landgrab. No, no. Casey. Okay. I'm wrong. I really thought it was Nancy Landgrab. And it looks like we have some mail that we need to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and let her grab that real quick. I know she wanted to go to bed and everything. But she'll be alright. She'll be okay. We'll get her We'll get her some sleep in a little bit. She needs some video games. And for work, um, she just needs to fill out reports. So we do need to do that. Okay. So while you're waiting for this lady to show up, let's go ahead and take a nap. Now, are we supposed to be meeting Jasmine... This is her, right? This is Jasmine Holiday here. I think so. I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Okay. So, you know what? Let's let her sleep. She is exhausted. The poor girl. And Derek just got home here in 357 simoleons today. I'm going to go ahead and let him ask about the Day of the Dead challenge. I love the, like, skull on her back. Can I get this vest or jacket for myself, please? Thank you. All right, so she says, The Day of the Dead challenge has arrived for a limited time. Other Sims are already out and about celebrating the occasion. Look around the neighborhood for Sims in vibrantly themed regula and ask them for a sugar skull. Completing the sugar skull challenge allows your Sims to join in the festivities. Simply place the nine unique sugar skulls inside a sugar skull display case to unlock the Honor the Dead interaction. This interaction rewards your household with a tenth golden skull and enhanced interactions with the Grim Reaper. Alright, so I'm guessing we're supposed to be buying this case that we're supposed to be putting them in. So I'm going to go ahead and look for this sugar skull case because I'm sure there's some place that we need to be looking for it. Alright, um, I don't really know what it would be in. I'm going to guess under, um, where like the, where are the, the shelving units here? Um, here we go. Unlock by asking Jasmine Holiday about the day that only available while challenge is active. Okay, so uh, she's actually going to give us this, I guess. She's gonna... Alright, it says Jasmine Holiday has placed a sugar skull display case in your household's inventory to help you get started on the Day of the Dead challenge. If you prefer a different color, you can also purchase the case from the storage selection of Build Boat Object Catalog. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Let's see. We've got an ugly red one. <laughs> oh, glorious day. Can we not actually just, like, recolor it? Oh, well, I thought we could. All right, well, that's okay. Why do we have all this stuff in our inventory? Like this same shower, isn't it? Looks the same to me. I don't know. Um, let me look and see if what other. I'm just kind of curious of what other colors it comes in. I guess. All right, it was under shelving. What other case colors is it coming? Black. Black and white. Okay. 
I like the white one. I'm going to keep the red one just because it's the one we got and because Derek likes red, so it kind of fits. Alright, I'm going to let him go ahead and, um, why doesn't he go ahead and eat some of the taco casserole? Tacos are a Mexican food, so it's kind of fitting, let's be honest. Sims around the world have collected 3,996 total skull, sugar skulls. I kind of wonder if that's like an active update, like, is it actively counting? So if I hover over it now, it would tell me a different number or in a couple minutes. Is that how it's working? I'm not really 100% sure. Oh, we got Phyrexium. Um, do we have Phyrexium in here? We might. I'm not 100% sure. We might not. We might not. Oh, snap. We don't. Okay, put this in here. Bam. Alright, so we've got some of the... Um, Okay, so if we were to actively ask her, can we ask her about the sugar skulls or no? Is it only the people that are dressed like really ridiculous? I don't know how this works. So we're looking for two purple, a white, a yellow, a green, and a blue. Alright, let's um... Let's call the Geo Council about this sample. We're going to call about this one, and this one, and this one, and we're going to open this up, and we're going to call about this. I think that I wasn't really working on one in particular um, thing. I was just kind of trying to get all of them at the same time. Oh, she's pregnant too. Okay. I don't know what's going on on this TV, but it is uh, creepy. Okay. I want to get her up, and I want her to uh, fill out the reports that she needs to do. So, um, we'll have her fill out the reports when she's done. All right, so, ceridium and osinate is what it said. All right, let's see if we have both of those. They're equal parts, too, so. We have osinate. What is it? Cydralin? Hydrolin. Okay, so we don't have that one. So the Baconite one, let's go ahead and send that in. Let's send that to the Geo Council. Have you open this up. Alright, he got Chef Gino. Let's go ahead and call the Geo Council about this sample and see what we can come up with here. And I think we have Chef Gino, so we can actually sell this for the 20 simoleons. I, at some point, want to get them a house, I want to build them a house, and I want to build a room for all of their different, um, collections, so, that is something I plan to do. If you were like, oh my gosh, this house is getting filled with these collections, yes, yes it is, but at some point or another, it won't be so bad. I'm waiting to see what this one's made of. Ruby is most... Almost all Cydralin, but has a trace amount of Beryllium. Cydralin. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and send that to the Geo Council as well. We're going to go ahead and call the Geo Council about this sample. I really wanted him to do all three of them, but... It, he just, like, didn't do it. I don't know. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, these colors are the colors of the gems. So, like, this one would be that. This one would be that. The black one would be that. You see what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's how it kind of works. So, we need a white one, a green one, and a blue one. I'm thinking that's how it works, anyways. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. All right, and she also wants to donate to a charity, and you can do this on the computer. It's primarily composed of Fozone, though it does have some gooblick, which gives it that distinctive smell. What? All right, we have gooblick. It's uh right there. So the other one was Fozone. I don't think we have Fozone. I don't remember seeing that name. Oh, yeah, we do. So we can actually sell that one. Okay, let's sell it. 
over 30. All right, Oxypin and Voluntone. Oxypin. But we don't have the Voluntone one. Oh, yes, we do. Voluntone. All right, we can actually sell the Amethyst. So the only one he's working on is the Uranium or whatever. All right, so it looks like we've got a couple marriages going down in the world. We've got a pregnancy, another pregnancy, an adoption. Bob Pancakes is having an affair. Another adoption, a pregnancy, 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 pregnancy. There's a lot going down. There are new messages at the top. Okay, well, it's composed solely of... I don't know how to say it. Something. Oh, we have it. Okay, so we can actually go ahead and sell this as well then. I don't know. It's not letting me pull it out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you eat your taco casserole, and then you're going to clean up the plates. And she's went to bed. She's like, screw it. I don't want to work anymore. Well, she's completed it anyways. I think she should probably get up real quick and go to use the bathroom, though, because she's going to need to use it. And uh, then she can go back to bed. And I'm going to get him into bed as well. Once he's done eating, anyways. Alright. So we need to start working on these um, Day of the Dead skulls. Because obviously we only have 30 days to complete it, so we do need to work on it. And it is in the collections journal, if you're wondering. It is a collection now. It's all the way to the bottom. It's the Sugar Skulls Day of the Dead challenge. So, it's like the decorative eggs, kind of. Which, we got 6 of the 10. I'm kind of uh, proud of myself for that, but... Obviously, all ten would have been better, but we, we'll work on it. It'll, it's something that we can work on for a while. And they seem to bring the eggs back every year. I'm kind of feeling like they might do the same with the Day of the Dead sugar skulls and keep adding to it. I don't know. But that's what they did with the eggs, and it worked pretty well, actually. It, uh, it went pretty well. Oh, Casey just had her baby. She gave a birth to a boy, a baby boy. That's exciting. Nancy had a little girl. Alright. And we should be just about ready to give birth as well. Four hours until our third trimester. Okay, so we're not quite at the time to give birth yet. But uh, we're getting there. Oh, there she goes. Off to work. She is really hungry. Um, headhunted. A competitor has contacted Cheryl to try to recruit her from her current company. Should she stay loyal or move on to bigger and better things? I'm going to stay loyal. She can can be a good thing. Cheryl's boss catches on to the offer and gives Cheryl a bit of the cash bonus as extra incentive to stay. So we got a thousand simoleons. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let him use the bathroom. I'm not going to let him shower quite yet because he does need to work out, I do believe. Oh, no, he needs to study component or uh, opponents. I don't know how to do that. Is it something you do on the computer? I'm not really sure. Um, more web. Yeah, study opponents. So he doesn't actually need to work out, which is good. Okay, so then he can take a shower. Let's, do, let's take a shower first. And then I'm going to have you get the mail. Oh, you broke the sink. I'm going to have you clean out the spoiled food. And then I'm going to have you eat some breakfast. What's going bad first? This is a day and this has five days. So let's go ahead and grab a serving of that. And I'm going to sell this because we could get rid of it. All right. And not enough exercise. Sorry to hear it, my friends. All right. And then we need to repair the sink, obviously. Um, alright, so his skill is obviously fitness. That's what he'll be maxing, or for his skill to max. Hers is 
probably going to be either cooking or charisma. What does she need for this? Charisma and logic. So we might do charisma. Okay, and he just got the stuff in the mail. So let's see what we got. We got Sidralin. Okay. Kind of looks like that one. That's Voluntone. Um, we might not have Sidralin already in here. Could be good. I don't think we do. No, it's right there. Okay, perfect. And we got Beryllium. Perfect. We don't have that one either. So, there we go. We finished this whole side. We just need four more, and we are good to go on that. We'll have everything, which would be great. Right. So, now that he is working on this, he's got to fix that next. And then he does need to study his opponents. And he works in 13 minutes. Oh, yeah. You're not getting any of this done. Never mind. Joke's on us. We're going to have him work hard, though. And really, she should be working hard as well to get that next promotion. I know that she gets stressed out from working hard, but it'll be all right. Okay, finish up your food so you can go to work. Oh, is that yoga? He doesn't seem very thrilled to go to work. He's like, screw you, lady. Okay. Alright, so he is off to work as well. And I am going to have him work hard too. Like I have her working hard. Maybe. Alright, uniform malfunction. Derek is having a lot of problems with his uniform today. The socks are all itchy and the belt's always either too tight or too loose. Should he play anyway or change and risk uniform violation? Um, he should play on. Alright, so it looks like Liberty had her baby and she had a baby girl. And Cheryl got a vacation day. She made 424 simoleons. Derek is distracted by his uniform for the whole game, especially on the three or four occasions. His pants fall down. Derek has an ineffective performance. His performance loss is small. Aw, poor guy. Alright, so she needs to be filling out reports again. But I'm going to let her eat something real quick. Let's go ahead and have her eat some of this taco casserole. I'm going to have her clean these... Uh, these plates. Clean up these plates when she gets a chance. And then she needs some fun. I do want her to donate to a charity since she really wants to do so. So donate. We're going to do $10 to the Llama International. Let's see what we get with that. Sometimes when you donate money, I don't know if you guys do this a lot, but if you guys donate money, um, sometimes you'll actually run into the problem where whatever you donated to wasn't like an actual cause. It's somebody scamming you. And so they scammed you out of like a thousand dollars or whatever you donate. So it's kind of funny. It's kind of cool. It makes it a little bit more realistic because not always when you donate to a charity, are you like some charities? Like sometimes people get scammed into donating to charities in real life. Even knowing um, a lot of the charities that you donate to are very real. Um, but sometimes there's just those, like, people who scam people out of money. And it's a sad thing, and it's, it, it really is, but it's the truth, and it really happens in real life. So it's kind of cool that they added that little feature in. I mean, it doesn't happen as much as when you donate. Like, it doesn't happen as much as donating to an actual cause. But it does happen once in a while. Right, she needs some fun and she needs some energy. She is exhausted. Poor girl. She is pregnant as can be and exhausted as can be. But I'm going to let her play some video games when she's done to get her fun up. So I'm going to let her play some Sims Forever. I mean, who doesn't want to play Sims? Alright, so she's just donating because it'll get that done for her. She's a good person, so she really enjoys donating to the causes. 
And she is in her third trimester. While not the biggest donation, every simoleon is appreciated. Alright, and she wants to play video games, so we're letting her do what she wants to do. Making her happy. Uh, Liberty is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Sure, let's go ahead and go over. I mean, she just had a baby, so she probably wants to show us her new addition to her family. And I think that because we're her friend, we need to be there for her, you know? And so we're going to go over here and check it out and see what's going on with the family. Let's see how this baby... Let's see where they place the bassinet. Because a lot of times when... It's like one baby is either right next to the bed or next to the toilet. It, it never changes. But in this house, it might be a little bit different. Who knows? Let's see. Where is the bassinet? We want to see your baby. Oh. Oh. Twins. Oh, that's sweet. Alright, let's come in here and cuddle the babies. Come on. Come on in. Oh my gosh, there's a baby outside. <laughs> See, I tell you they're all those crazy things. <laughs> Who had this baby? Who is this? Lindsay Scott. That must be uh, Travis's wife. I don't know these babies' names. That's why we're going to cuddle them. And then we've got Liberty. Or Zoe here. Zoe is with... I don't know. Summer holiday and Zoe holiday. So they must be together. Which is, that's sweet. So this is, um, Arjuna Yarbra. I have no idea. I don't even know who that is. Oh, Aiden's baby must be. Oh, because Liberty's last name is, oh. Oh, so she's with this guy. Okay, that's cute. Look at them taking pictures together. I want to see what he looks like. He's an elder, so obviously, you know, she's into the elder men. Which is fine. I mean, she can she can do what she needs. Who's this? What's this baby's name? Let's see. Hope Holiday. So this is Summer and Zoe's baby. So that's going to be cute to see her, her age up. Is Arjuna... Is Arjuna a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, so Arjuna is a girl. Hope is a girl. And then there's a poor baby outside. Which is horrible. But it's it's a thing. It's it's happening. <laughs> this has got to be... um, I don't know. I thought she only had one baby girl. So... Uh, this might be a holiday baby. Maybe uh, Summer and Zoe had twins. Yep, Guillermo Holiday. Okay, so they're going to have twins aging up. Boy, girl, that's cute. That is cute. All right, so let's go ahead and start introducing ourselves to these people that we don't actually know because we can actually, we can actually go for it. She has quite a lot of points. I could get her something. I could get her a trait or something that would help her. Um... I don't know, though. Let's bring Derek here. Come on, Derek. Come on over here and hang out with the fam. Um, let's go ahead and let you use the bathroom real quick. Okay, did you introduce yourself to her? I think you did. Yeah, Lindsay Scott. That's nice. Um, why don't you go ahead and maybe just uh, ask about her career? Ask what she does in life. I mean, that's not a bad thing to ask. And uh, go ahead and um, get to know her a bit. Find out some things about her. And you should probably meet Zoe as well. I mean, Zoe is part of the original game, but it's just cool. All right, so she loves the outdoors. Well, that's, that's nice. That is nice. All right, let's go ahead and let you start introducing yourself to people as well. Because, I mean, you might as well. You might as well get to know people. Especially if they're your neighbors. I really feel like you should probably know them. He's got a lot of people to meet. Oh, she's got to go pee really bad. Okay, well, um, let's do the same thing with Zoe. Let's uh, find out her career. And we are going to get to know her a little bit. Where is she? There it is. Get to know. And then we are going to use the bathroom because before we pee ourselves. Oh, could you not, uh, could you not, um, 
Yakalau Dune Bath. Brugi, pay you. Offer career advice? Miss no, I don't really think Lina. we need to do that. Shelled. Ask about a career. Belarga Zakuni. Sense and Gorge. Nope, sir. So, so. <laughs> Can we not get any sugar canes or sugar skulls from these guys? I guess not. I guess I don't really understand where we get them from. What about you? We don't even know you. Oh no, she's gonna pass out. Poor girl. Alright, let's go ahead and let you watch the current channel. So you're getting fun while you're talking to these people as well. He's just kind of meeting the new folks. And he needs to become a parent and read to a child for two total hours and socialize with your child for ten, ten times. So we need to work on the baby situation. Alright. Well, at least he's getting to know these people. That's good. Okay, so she's not she's not fast asleep anymore. Aww, that's sweet. Okay, let's see. I don't really know how everyone's fitting in this house and like it's working. I don't know. But I am going to send them home just because it is getting late and uh, Cheryl here is exhausted, literally falling asleep on people's bathroom floors, which is kind of disgusting. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to do anything about the sugar skulls. When Jasmine arrived, seek with her to learn about the Day of the Dead. I did, but I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, see any uh, I didn't see any way maybe it has to be him maybe he has to ask for the sugar skulls just for the fact that he asked about the challenge um a smooth apology what happens jeez Derek <laughs> he's taking people out I don't, I, don't, I don't know what he was doing to be honest with you I don't know I don't know but stop watching TV and go home he's like shoot I gotta get off this TV Litters, boys. Oh, yeah, look. Now it's up to 6,522. So I think it, like, updates every so often. That's pretty cool. So you could, uh, you could be playing your game and keeping up with how well everybody is doing on the challenge. Awesome stuff. I actually, I actually like that. I like they have, like, an active counter kind of thing. I mean, it's not to the minute, but you can check it every so often. But 6,000, wow. I think when I actually initially looked, it was like a 1,000 something. When I initially got onto the game, now we're up to 7,000. This is crazy. Oh, I thought that was Cheryl right there. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> when did she change her clothes? <laughs> she didn't. All right, Derek, can you please repair this sink real quick? I love how he's wearing cleats. <laughs> <laughs> He's just walking everywhere in cleats. Don't worry about me. I'll ruin your furniture with my... I'll ruin your floors with my cleats on. He doesn't care. Alright, and she's fast asleep. Which is good, because she is exhausted. Poor girl. But she is getting ready to give birth any time, so... The countdown is on. Even knowing we don't actually have a countdown... Because it doesn't actually give you one, which is kind of ironic. Alright, so we got some pregnancies. Alright. Lots of pregnancies. Whoa. Marriage. Another marriage. Another marriage. Lots of marriages. Even more marriages. <laughs> Alright, does she work today? She does in four hours. I think we're going to take some family leave because she's definitely going to be having the baby within the net within the day. So let's go ahead and um, take family leave, and then I'm going to let she go back to sleep. Yes, yeah, please take family leave while you're on the toilet. All right, so we're going to let her take family leave, and I am going to let her take some, get some food. And I'm also going to have Derek go ahead and take some family leave as well, because um, he's definitely, he's definitely going to want to be there for the birth of his child. And then I'm going to let him grab a serving, and let's see, what else does he need to do? He needs to get on the computer. 
Mm -hmm. And he needs to study his opponents. When she's done, I'm actually going to let her go back to sleep. All right, my time is up for this episode. Um, I'm going to let her go back to sleep for a little bit. And then when she gets up, she can use the bathroom and she can take a shower. And I'm going to let her watch a movie. I was kind of really hoping that the baby was going to come in this episode. But it'll be something we can look forward to in the next episode. I'm sorry that I didn't get into any more of the Day of the Dead challenge. I really, really, really want to get into it. So um, expect another episode of this very shortly. Um, maybe even out of schedule times. Because I do want to like be able to do that. Oh, Eliza Pancakes had a bo little boy. Aww. Now they're having babies. So sweet. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below, there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to the channel, along with things like my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Twitch links. So definitely check us out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you would like to see Cheryl and Derek do, let me know in the comment section below and we will check it out. Anyways, guys, until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.